He's a man who was who has won the FA. He's won the English Premier League. He's won the U, the UEFA Champions League title. He's a legend of the game. He's a legend in France. He's a legend in England when it comes to uh, club football. Who am I talking about? None other than Thierry Henry, the man, the legend himself, who is in the country, uh, courtesy of uh, Guinness. Is, uh, He's in the country, rather, courtesy of Guinness. I had a chance to speak to him this morning about why he's in the country and, uh, you know, his views about African football and whether Arsenal can win the league in the coming future. This is what he had to say. First of all, welcome to Kenya. How Thank does you. it feel? It feels great. Uh, obviously, uh, we arrived uh, late last night, 10, 10, around 10 something. But since I've been here, you know, people have shown me love. And uh, it, it is amazing to be here. Yes. Thank you for having me. Today, you are going to see some, uh, you know, footballers, uh, courtesy of the Maid of Black. What are your expectations? Well, uh, Actually, for, as you know, it's my first time here, and uh, I don't have any expectation. Of, I want to go with the flow and see and see how it's gonna how it's gonna be. So far, it's been great. Meeting uh, Tabafa uh, was was uh, inspiring, amazing. You saw the video, I'm yes. sure. And and um, but I just want to go with the flow, see people interact. Um, I think it will be great. You know, I, I don't usually have expectation. Just because I, I just like to arrive and see how it goes and and how and how people are. I, I usually uh, uh, get treated well uh, in Africa. Yes. And so and so hopefully it will be the same uh, in Kenya. Speaking of Africa, you uh, at the press conference you spoke about you know the likes of uh, Victor Wanyama. You know, what are your views about African football? Oh, I mean, African football and African players have given a lot a lot to the game. When you look at in history, uh, the, 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 the amount of players that have been doing so well in so many leagues and in so many big clubs, mm -hmm. that speaks volume about about uh, about the continent. And um, you know, talking about uh, Kenya, obviously the uh, the guy at the, uh, the the flavor of the month, I will say, or the guy at the minute is Victor Wanyama with what he's been doing. Uh, recently for Tottenham, he's been injured, as we know, uh, uh, recently, unfortunately, for Tottenham and for him and for you guys. But um, it's, been, uh, it's been inspiring to see what he's doing, especially for young uh, Kenyan footballers, young African footballers, to see that you can come from Kenya and achieve so much uh, being, being in Europe and, and obviously playing for, playing for Tottenham. So it is great. But I think the, the, the continent... Like I said, when the, 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 the continent also the World Cup in South Africa in 2010, I was very happy because it was just about right that football gives also something back to Africa for what Africa gave for football for a very long time. You know, we can mention a lot of great uh, African players in history, George Rea, Roger Mila, and, you know, and so on and so on and so on. Um, I just think that, uh, you know, there's always have been uh, that little... African vibe, you know, when African players play, yes. there is something always different, a little spark, a little smile, a little happiness with the way you guys play um, play the game. So, like I said, for me, you know, without Africa, you, 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 you know, there's, there's, there's no football, and I think that's the beauty of it. You know, you need, you need all the continent around, every player from everywhere, whatever they believe in, but we all believe football, uh, that's, that's one of the most important things. Mm -hmm. Before we speak about France and Belgium, uh, where you're a coach, we have five teams that have qualified for the World Cup uh, from the continent, that is Senegal, we have Morocco, we have uh, Nigeria. Tunisia. Yeah, five, five uh, teams, and these teams have stars that play in Europe, in uh, England, most of them. Do you think, you know, like we are in a period where we can have an African team winning the World Cup? Winning the World Cup is, is, is it's a hell of a task, not only for an African team, but for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at the, some, some of the teams that have played this game sometimes didn't manage to to win the World Cup. It's not because it's Africa or, or, or any other any other continent, but it's true. Uh, no African teams yet reached the semi-final. You know, it's always the quarter-final. Ghana did it. Uh, Senegal did it. Uh, Cameroon did it. And so, you know, Nigeria always thought had a team to do it. Back in the days, you remember 1998, yeah. yeah. 19, 1994, that, that, that period, 1998. When they had the cream of stars. Yeah, 94, 1998, when they, I mean, they had an amazing team, I'm yeah. sure you remember. Yes. Egypt also have been so dominant for at one point in, 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 in Africa yeah. and they couldn't manage to, 
to sometimes even qualify to go to the World Cup. Now they did qualify. Nigeria is back on track also. Tunisia is there, Morocco. Um, so you, you, you know, we will see what's going to happen. But, you know, it's so hard to win the World Cup. And, and usually, you always have an, an African team doing well yeah. at the World Cup. So who, who is going to be? We will see. We, we will have to wait for that. But uh, I think it's, it's down to believing that you can, uh, that you can do it. Uh, and then things can happen, obviously. And, uh, you know, we will, we will see how it's going to go. Myself, I will be there with, uh, with Belgium. So, yes. you know, and uh, we have to play, obviously, an African team in our, in our, in our group. And so we will see. It's, the, it's one of the uh, only African team where a lot of the players are local. Playing in the in the in the in yeah in, in the local league. If you look at the Tunisian team, apart from a, a, a couple of players that are playing in France and and, and, and and elsewhere, but we will see. I always thought that it, it can it can be done. Yes. Uh, speaking about Belgium, you're the assistant coach. They have you know like you look at the team. It has among the best stars in the world now, and everybody you know is looking up to you. What can what you can do in the 2018 Russia World Cup? You know, as a coach. Do you see like this is the time for Belgium to deliver? It is. Uh, listen, um, I said it so many times, and I'll re repeat what I said before. Um, when you when you are in a big nation of football, especially with the with the players that we have, people expect you to do wonders. It's not an easy one. People want think that Germany is going to win it. Obviously, with the players that we have, people expect a lot from us. Uh, France. Brazil, I'm not going to name all the usual suspects, but once we're going to be there, it's going to be a different story. And, and, and to talk to you as, a, as an assistant coach, remember, well, I'm not, I'm not the coach, but to talk about uh, it as an assistant coach, our main focus, first and foremost, is on uh, Panama, the first game. And then you're going you're gonna to see how the, comp the competition is going to start, and you, t you take it uh, game by game and see how far we're going to go. Uh, let me take you back to your time as a football player. Um, you've scored numerous goals, but you know, which is that goal that you look at and you're like, man, this is the best goal I've ever scored as a, as a football player? Well, it depends. I, I think the, the, the goals that are important are the goals that make you win a game. Uh, you know, the one that you score when you lose a game, I'm not saying you should erase, erase those ones because at the end of the day, they went in the back of the net, so they're good. Um, but on a personal point of view, when I came back to play for Arsenal and the comeback in uh, 2012, when I played uh, in uh, that FA Cup first round against Leeds, it was a special moment for me. So, uh, yeah, that goal, that goal meant a lot. But you know, when you look at the history of the game and uh, and and the game that I played, every game, every goal that that meant something on the day and that we won with, always going to be special. On a personal point of view, the Leeds goal. As we wind up, I know this is something that you always ask everywhere you go. It's about Arsenal. Do you see them winning the league soon? And what about the Wenger, Wenger out brigade? Uh, I said to you, I, I never mentioned Wenger out and all this type of thing. I think it's a bit disrespectful uh, with obviously the legacy of the boss at the club and what he did for this club. Now, it looks like we're not going to win the league this year. It, it will take something incredible for Arsenal to win the league this year. So I just hope, like you said, that's going to happen sooner rather than later. You can never know what can happen. Uh, Liverpool been on the run of 27, 28 years without winning the league. So, you know, it can just happen like that without you realizing it. So that's 14 years for us. Hopefully it won't be 15, hopefully it won't be 16, hopefully it won't be 17, 17 years, uh, 17 years, sorry, without, without winning it. So we'll see. But, you know, all that talk and everything, sometimes you got to judge the team on what the team is doing, obviously. But all the, the attack on Nelson, I think, was a bit was a bit uh, was a bit too much, especially what he has done for the club. But you still have to, as long as the team, whether it's Arsenal and, and we all want him to to to, it's going to be on him to to leave, and and that's 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 how it is. But whoever's going to be there, if he if he stays for another ten years or, or someone comes, it doesn't really matter. People are always going to uh, look at it as Arsenal needs to win the league. Do you understand what I mean? However, however you look at it, so uh, hopefully they can still do it under the bus. I don't think it will be this year, but maybe next year. But uh, like I said, we all wish. I'm an Arsenal fan, so that's what I wish every year. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen for a very long time. 
So, well, uh, Thierry Hondry, who is in the country, cut is your Med of Black, uh, that is by Guinness, thinks that uh, will take Arsenal some time before they really, you know, challenge for the English Premier League title, uh, which basically means we'll have to wait for another three or four years before they win the league, or is it going to be the Liverpool way, go some 15, 16 years uh, before they, they win the league? Actually, I had a chance of sitting. I know you wanted to yeah, Exactly. Interview I mean, I, I wish I did the interview because I have no idea about <laughs> the rest of the sports. <laughs> but a great interview. They are good to have him in the country. Yes. Um,